Hi guys, welcome to Leap Scholars YouTube channel. My name is Deepika Man. I just completed my studies with Biotechnology post secondary Diploma from Centennial College, Canada. So in this video, I will be sharing some points. With the help of that, you can choose a program by your own. And also, I will be sharing some points which you should consider before choosing any program in Canada. Thirdly, I will be talking about my course that is Biotechnology post secondary Diploma in here. Let's start the video. First point is choose a program of your interest. I would highly recommend you to choose a program in which you are having some interest. Try to search the program by your own. Try to search that on web. On web, every information is available. I will mention one website. It's ontariocolleges.ca. That is really helpful if you want to search any program by your own. So when you will go to ontariocolleges.ca, you will see a list of uh, fields that you are interested in. Select that field and afterwards, it will show you all the courses and all the universities, colleges that are giving you that course. So have a look on that. So make sure you know your interest. So where you want to apply only then you can make a clear decision. So after end of everything, you will have a list of all the courses and the colleges that course is providing on Ontario colleges .ca, every information is available. So make sure you check that out before applying to any college. So when you will go to your agent or any family members with the help of whom you are applying to Canada. So make sure you choose the program that you are highly interested in. So apply to different colleges and wait for the offer letter. letter. So for offer letter, usually it takes around 15 to 20 days. It may take less, it may take more, depending upon the college you are applying to. Also in the time of your waiting, make sure you're applying to two or three different colleges as well, just to have a backup plan in case your first campus just gave you a rejection. So at least you have second and third option where from where you can get the offer letter. So in order to save your time, make sure you're applying to two or three colleges at the same time. And also next point I want to make into consideration is like when you're done choosing your course and college and if the case is like you are applying by your own. So make sure you apply through the college website only rather than the websites that are given on the browser. Like when you search anything on Google, so many websites came there. So don't apply on such websites. Just directly go to the website of the college that you decided over there go to that program and apply from there because the websites you're getting on the browser page like on google we can't say they are trustworthy so i would highly recommend you to go for the college website and apply from there so let's just talk about my course now it's biotechnology post secondary fast track diploma so when i talk about the term fast track fast tracks means that i get admission directly into third semester and, and then i studied for two years after that which means i studied third fourth fifth fifth and sixth semesters so uh, that was a benefit that I got that I got admission into third semester directly rather than studying for entire three years so I studied for only two years the requirement for this course is very basic you should be at least 19 years of old and second is your IELTS score should be 6.5 overall and in each module it should be six so my both points were satisfactory and then I applied for that and got the offer letter in around 15 days so as soon as I received my offer letter so on offer letter the deadline date was mentioned that before this date you have to pay your one year fees of this program and that was around 17,000 Canadian dollars so before that deadline I paid the fees and afterwards I received the confirmation letter like after a week that your payment is received now you can proceed with your further process so let's just talk about the curriculum of this course when I talk about biotechnology some of you must be thinking that it's a difficult course so I would say it's not a difficult course at all it's a very fascinating subject with lots of lab work theoretical work and all the technical subjects you are having in that so i will not talk about all the subjects that i've studied in this subject i will just talk about an overview like what sort of subjects you will be having so when i talk about the subjects usually you will have one chemistry subject it can be analytical physical or any other chemistry subject so there will be like one english subjects throughout your each semester and also you will have like two or three biological subjects which are your main bi biotechnology field it can be microbio it can be systematic it can be the advanced biotechnology and so and so so usually the biological subjects are designed in such a way if you're having like three biological subjects so one will be very basic like which is about all the basic technologies you are studying and second will be a like 
technical where you will have like calculations third will be more of a theoretical based so think about in such a way that you will have chemistry english and biological subjects like which you have studied in the medical field as well so most of them will be discussed in your course era in such a way that you are having more exposure to labs so the course shell is discussed so next step is to get a job so when i talk about jobs in biotechnology there are so many opportunities you can go for lab testing lab technician quality assurance quality testing and even you can go for food technology department pharmaceutical cosmetics there are so many options in biotechnology and also in canada biotechnology is such a field which is considered as high job demanding field so when you're going from biotechnology department don't worry much about it that you will get job or not so it has many industrial applications so i wish you good luck with that i hope you will get job easily and that is all about the video if you have any questions regarding biotechnology program drop them down i will try to reply them all or even if you are having some glitch in between your application process i can help you with that as well just drop your questions i will try to answer all of them and also do subscribe to leap scholars youtube channel and for now i'm ending this video here we'll see you soon bye Thank you.